Hi everybody, it's Diane from Tattered Edges Design. Today's project is journal ephemera, in other words, things to put in junk journal pockets. And they are little seed packet envelopes I made out of book pages. Uh, this is not my original idea. I got this from Pam at the Paper Outpost. She did this, oh, I don't know, a couple months ago. I'll try to link her video down below if I remember which she does show you. I'm not going to show you how to make the actual envelope. She shows you on there. Um, just for the record, I mean, it's not hard. It's a little tricky, though. I have found, I, maybe it's just me, but in cutting, like, you make, you know, you glue it and then cut, make a cut. I found it's not always even, and eh, I don't know, but it's a little, for me, anyway. It's a little fussier than you think it might be. And you can just tell from this, I didn't really measure. I, I started about five and a half inches long, took it from there. I don't care that they're not all exactly the same, it doesn't matter to me. And they're about a seed package, you know, size, so that's fine. I don't think anyone's going to compare and measure it to, you know, a seed, a real seed packet. Um, another thing I would like to point out, to me, the book, the book paper does matter. It can be too thin, I think, because, well, for one, you're folding and stuff. You want it to hold up to that. And two, you know, if you're putting it in a journal, I'm assuming a new owner would put stuff in it and use it. So you don't, you want it something that's going to tear or fall apart. Brittle paper, forget it, because you got to fold. So, there. Um, and you know, actually this is kind of cool, you could leave it alone, but I'm going to collage. And what I think I'm going to do, because it seems like my videos are like watching Diane, I think I'm going to cut this out more, watching Diane glue, and how exciting is that, and listening to her, you know, ramblings, the way her mind, <clears throat> excuse me, wanders on little tangents. Um, I think I'm just going to sort of put them together and then glue off camera. It just, it just, it just gets kind of dumb. <laughs> I, I don't know. We'll try and see if it's better that way. I, I don't know. So that's what we're doing. Um, another thing I have found, I, yeah, I have done this before. Uh, the images, if you're going to collage, I do not recommend, do not anything heavy like a playing card or even a heavy scrap of paper because you want it you know to be able to open and if you have something thick glued to it it takes away that ability to kind of open it gets stiffer I mean it's okay but that's just my opinion take it or leave it and I do have main images here I grabbed some of those so that you weren't bored with that digging around and I've got my box of paper junk and some washi tape and magazines nearby. And I could grab a few, you know, little scrap of paper um, embellishments if I felt like it. I've got a bag of scrappy fabric here. Could get ribbon, I suppose. I did not get that. Um, you could paint on these if you want a painted background. I wouldn't glob on the paint, but you could. Um, another footnote, if when gluing, they, they kind of stay open by themselves. I don't know if you can kind of tell that. But don't glue it and, you know, mash it down and wait a minute. It could a glue shot. So be aware of that. And I'm not going to do anything with the backs. They're on their own. That's kind of cute. And I'm, I'm not trying to make these look like, um, you know, seed packets, like, you know, these flower seeds are in this packet. I just so happened to pull some floral images just because I like them. But, you know, if you want to think that, that there's actual seeds in there as a seed packet, go ahead and think that. Now this is this is really weird. It's oh, it's stick, sticker. That's why I <laughs> pulled this out of you know an old book, 
And I'm like, wow, it's really thick. I don't get it. But they only glue down the top, and they're still sticking on the back. That's weird. Okay, then, well, one mystery solved. Well, that kind of matches. And I'm not really, I mean, as I say, I have said before, you know, of course I want these to look nice, but I'm not going to overly really decorate because, you know, they are going in a journal. They do have to fit in pockets and stuff. I don't want them really bulky. Yeah, these would be cute envelopes for little uh, note cards, too, or gift cards, something like that. Be fun, I think. Anyway, they're just they're just a little different than your run of the mill envelope, I guess. Or to me, they they're different. I think they're fun. I probably will ink edges. Yeah, my daughter is really not. As you can tell, it's so chewed up. There's, there's like, there's not a center anymore. I was thinking, not this comes off. This was actually a freebie from Scrapbook.com. I placed an order, and they had, you know, you could get a free gift, and this was my free gift. But it's really, really seen better days. I wonder if you could cover it with muslin, uh, not muslin, um, batting. Cotton batting, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I probably will ink edges. I will try to use that in some way. Oh, I also have, just a sec, my little words envelope, which I still have not replaced. I should get a new one. Um... But that would be kind of a cute place for something like that too, maybe. If you could think of, or get, I mean, the right word. The rare and radiant beauty. Actually, I kind of like that. The color is good. All right, this one might be done. Sans gluing, of course. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I watched some other journal, you know, collage people make stuff, and I don't necessarily get bored when they're gluing and that, but I don't know. Diane just takes longer or so. I don't know what her problem is. Alright, I think that one's okay. So we're going to set it aside and let all the little papers fall off. Okay, next. That one's wider. Let's use it's out of an old book. You know, you could call that done. It's actually kind of neat. Would, it, would that be like really lame? Like, gee, Diane, you went to a lot of trouble with that. Yeah, okay. I mean, I guess it's just, you know, if somebody wants to think that, that's tough, I guess. Too bad. <laughs> but, you know, is that okay that people are thinking? Well, you know, whoop de doo how long did that take you? Or, like, no, it's fine, that's all it needed. So, don't worry about it. I don't know. Or maybe someday I'll actually get comments and you guys can answer these, you know, thought-provoking questions for me. No, that's too bright. What about a florally thing? No, it's too, too classy. Well... Just, just like a border something down there. What about this? Well, that would be okay. I would give you one guess what that is. I mean, besides a piece of paper, what is it supposed to be? I, I would probably be willing to bet no one's going to get it. It's actually dollhouse wallpaper. <laughs> that I did have in one of my houses at one point, and this, that was extra. I think that's fine. I like that. Okay, this can get set aside too. 
Alright, next. That was kind of wide too. I've got um that's a Dover sticker book. Oh with all kinds of glare. Sorry about that. That I have used a few of these. They're very cool, but as you can see, they're very uh, most of them, anyway, are very deco in design, which I don't know if that goes with a lot of my style journals, but they're, they're pretty cool. Well, yeah, they're very deco-y. <laughs> That's why I keep putting them aside. Well, what about this one? It, it's a little more, leans a little more to Nouveau with her style of dress. Okay. And that is just a sticker, so I can't really set it, set it, or it'll grab. It's a color back there. Yeah, mulberry papers wouldn't be a bad idea. Let me grab those. Yeah, I should probably replace this bag too. It's so crinkly. It's kind of... It's annoying us. Well, those reds don't really match, but it's okay. I don't suppose there's anything else in here, just so I can crinkle around in this bag. I'm, I'm trying to be careful. Yeah, I, I, making videos can, you know, cramp your creativity, can it? Well, that's pretty good. It matches the sand, I guess it's supposed to be, or waves. I don't know. Well, they're in a boat. <laughs> I hope it's waves. <laughs> Looks like sand. All right, that's okay. And maybe just a bit of red. Yeah, that's okay. That could be done too. Like I said, I don't want them especially bulky. Maybe a flower. You can get away with a little scrap of paper, flowery something. Well. Or just say or fabric, but that's just well, that's just sort of the same thing. Uh, let me look at my flowers. Just a second. What I'm looking at flowers or butterflies. Uh, Diane, you're not on camera. This is really boring. Um. All right. Let me pause. Let me pause. Let me pause. Alright, I found a butterfly that um, I thought the colors matched really well. Well, there's <laughs> really not too much color on it. It's tan and brown. And yeah, I've noticed... I could just move my light here. When I... See, I'm going to do something like that. Okay? Okay. When I film... Um, this is like evening. I get much more of a shadow. Harsh, a harsh shadow, I should say. So, sorry. You know, I'm... <laughs> I'm, you know, a Midwestern stupid broad. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with photography and lighting and stuff. So, bear with me. And there's gonna be much more of that because we're entering the darker part of the year now. Uh, what does that need? Can you see? You can't really see. Here. <laughs> we'll just make it a seat bag. Well, the green border on there isn't terrible. And of course you can do whatever you want on yours, but I on these I kind of avoid text because <laughs> the background is all text. How dumb would that look? It's a plainish paper. No, well, I I don't hate it. It's kind of cool. And maybe like some random number stamps. Stamping stamps. For, I don't know how you want to phrase that. Yeah, this last wheel. Are you getting this? This last wheel long term. So that's a kind of 
sort of manually go. <laughs> and of course, you get ink on you, and life is grand, right? And my ink pad was running out. So I put a little water on it. I don't know, you know, is that, you know, I just ruined it. That's the worst thing you could possibly do. I don't know. I think it helped a little bit. But it's not great. I gotta get a new one, I guess. I don't know. I don't know about that either. Just yeah, come to Diane Station because she has all these great tips going. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of fun. It's kind of washy, maybe. I don't know. Maybe just even um, black and white something kind of cute. Yeah, okay, I guess if I'm not gluing this stuff down, I can't really put on washi tape, can I? Especially if you can't find the beginning. Well, that's kind of cute. Well, I can put it on the bottom, I suppose. Or you can watch me glue the little ends of washi tape. Is that okay? Yeah, I think by the time this video airs, it will be November, and I cannot believe that. Can you believe that? And the older I get, the worse I get about not Christmas shopping early. I used, I used to be so, I you know, I would be done like in August, literally. <laughs> not anymore. No. A little bit of yellow there. I, don't know, I guess I could cover the ink. We don't want it to dry out anymore, do we? Well, it's kind of fun. That's, could use a little something, um, but I'm not gonna, like I said, bore you to death. So that's kind of done. Maybe get a little something. Okay. Next. I have nine of these if anyone's counting. And I don't know if I'll piece out all nine of them. I don't know. No, that's fine. Why not? Part of a shorthand book. This is out of a book it's about antiques. Yeah, I think we want this little, the chair a little higher, so I want this a little higher. Yeah, it's cute. I don't think I'm going to do this, but it would be kind of cute to put a, like a dog or cat sitting on the chair. It'd be kind of fun. I have a dog or cat handy, do I? <laughs> I do have dog, cat, scrap of paper. Um, let me look for a sack. I, most of it is kind of um, whimsical looking. Is that, you know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. So I don't know if that would work rabbit. <laughs> I think mean, nobody said these have to make sense. Uh, well, yeah, there's a cat here, but it's uh, like a cream color. I don't think it's going to stand out. Unicorn. Well, and I suppose Looking at stuff off camera is just as irritating as gluing for 20 minutes, right? I don't know. Well, actually, what about a sleeping fox? Would that <laughs> I think it's too big. It's too big. 
All right, forget that. It'd be kind of fun, but I don't think it's going to work. All right, forget about fun. We used it all up. What else could we put on this? I think I was just going to use like a little bit of lace or something on the side. Do you have lace up here, Diane? No. I don't have much lace in my life anyway. Well, maybe a fabric. I've, I've got my scrap. I think I mentioned this in another video. It is getting smaller. This is my scrap trims, ribbons, trims, yarn, whatever. That's well, kind of cute. All right. Maybe is that good enough? Just very monochromatic on this one? No. A little too mono. Maybe a washi on the bo very bottom. It's hard to tell that lace won't lay, lay straight. It's not gathered, but it just, I guess because the, the ruffle is gathered, the bottom is gathered. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Um, well, I know this is way wide, but what if it was under? Why not? It's pretty tape. It's relatively new. It's kind of neat. All right, I will glue that down. Or stick it down, however you want to phrase that. I'm gluing the corners and sticking it down. Okay, you know, you could even just do something like that. It's pretty. Okay, what's that gonna look like? Oh, it looks like, yeah, that's over the rose. Um, well, I guess we're gonna cut this off. All right, I'm sorry, but this toy, toy makers, guess what I have running in my brain right now? <laughs> Just stay in your mental. It's the, um, I forget how, exactly how it goes. There's this one phrase going over and over in my mind. That's pretty good. The, it's something about the best toy makers in the world. In um, Santa Claus is coming to town. Is that the right one? You know, with the uh, Winter Warlock and the Burger Meister, Burger Meister, Meister Burger, and all that. Oh, Diane. Okay, there's another chair of the same book. Well, that's okay. I don't know if I love it. That's just a magazine. Magazine. I don't want to call it an image. It's part, <laughs> it's part of an ad or something. I guess it's a magazine image if it was in a magazine, but it's not really an image. It's like a background thing. Well, that's kind of cool if we had something else there, which... I really, I wasn't prepared for other focal images. We didn't know that. Yeah, see, something like that would be good, but not that. I do have postage stamps here. Would one of those do something? This is um. I've got. I've got other stamps that are a little more, I should probably get that out. Um, I don't know how to describe it. These are older, just kind of colors looking. There's some focal things in here, but the other ones are more like, 
a definite place or in you know object or person kind of a thing maybe those would be better here hang on they're right here they're just out of reach though and this is all right another box in my life i you see how much money I would have spent if I actually went and bought plastic tubs for all this stuff? And, you know, and I haven't... <laughs> see, I do have sort of a system. You know, flowers, famous people, maybe flowers. See, I kind of, kind of... Kind of sort of something here. Actually... No. Okay. Oh, I like that one. I like that it's on the paper too. That's a Japanese stamp. Okay. Okay. Maybe though it needs a trim of some sort. Oh, dropped a paper. Yeah, I think we need a, a washi or a, a trim or a fabric. Maybe a fabric on the bottom. Be more, a little more textural there. Well, I guess you could go blue, except I don't have a lot of blue fabric. Yeah, this is starting to explode a little bit. This, this bag never really gets down. It seems like every time... I kind of think I'm making progress. The color's okay, but mm, really not plaid. But anyway, every time I think I'm making progress in this bag, and sure enough, I put more in it. Well, this would probably look dumb, but denim. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Do you guys do all this? You hunt and hunt and hunt for something that, you know, kind of like isn't there. That's, that's okay. All right, let's just do that. So we can stop hunting. I'm going to make it narrower, though. make it narrower I guess <laughs> I guess does that make sense cut it narrower yeah that's okay okay there's that one all right well we are making progress actually I think there's only one more after this this it's pretty I don't know what those are I mean, they're flowers, but <laughs> I don't know what kind of flowers those are. Let's talk this precisely. This is cool. I bet some, pe some people know what this is, right? It was a round, well, it says, <laughs> it says what it is. But it's a foil thing. It was a round, rolled elastic, you know, to hold it. Uh, they sure don't make stuff like that anymore, do they? Oh, this is probably the wrong color. Yes, that's the wrong color. Get back there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that that is definitely kind of an off blue. It's 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 pretty. I like it, but it's. It's just got a hair, I mean a hair, of purple in it, kind of, sort of. So it's throwing off the blue business. No. Um, this one is tricky. And yeah, this is that thing clunking, <laughs> clanking around. <laughs> Give me a break. 
I, okay, I'm be, I would be willing to bet on that too. I'm the only YouTuber person you're going to see today with an old elastic closure clanking around on their craft counter. Yeah, probably. I'm talking about the Toy Maker song from Santa Claus is Coming to Town. No, I don't, I don't know. What did I say in one of my past videos about this? There's this one stinker in the group that you can't find anything to match. I think we found it. No, I was just thinking like, well, if I can't find anything to match, then just too bad. It just gets something totally crazy and nutsy and you know, we know it doesn't match, we don't care, but no. Now what about my box again? Here, just a minute. Is there... I'm gonna crush everything again. Um, there's something else. I, this is just random stuff. You know, like something like that, like some old, I mean, so you, yeah, you name it, it's, it, you know what this is? Well, you could guess. It's a broom label. I mean, you know, SH Green Stamp Book. Okay, here, all right, here you go, go guys. Here's a seed packet. It is three and a quarter four and a half. Okay. Oh, this makes me feel better. <laughs> Their seam is way on the side here. I was I was trying to get mine in the middle and I didn't. That's not too bad, but a couple of them are pretty off. But okay, there you go. This is a new one. This was this year. These colors weren't that great. Okay. Holly Hobby. Old greeting cards. Some old ephemera. Uh, mm. What about... Oh, sure. I don't have that. I had an... <laughs> oh, here. Some coin wrappers in here. I'm saying the nickels. No, that's got too much green in it. All right. But this one really is being difficult. Um, all right, you know, if you're going to be a problem, we're going to set you aside. All right. I was planning on another one of these guys for the last one. Let's see. Are we glaring again? That's not too bad. No. Oh, that's kind of fun. It's more decoy, but you know, it's a bike. It's it's okay. It's maybe that one. That's pretty. All right, we'll do that one. It's more maybe a little more. Um, that's what I want. I don't know if it goes far as generic, but you know what I'm saying. It's that's kind of pretty. Um, this is kind of nice. Oh, I like that. Okay. But not done. Some leaves that match. It's kind of neat. Nah. Um. Yeah, and I, by the way, I have, this is just the ephemera, you know, on standby. I don't have any journals for these. Oh, that sure is good colors, but I don't know if that's, it doesn't really kind of go. What about that one? It's smaller. Yeah, I just finished a kind of big intensive journal for me anyway. So I'm kind of doing other things for a little while here. 
I give you people credit that make the really big journals. I mean, you know, big with a lot of pages and all kinds of stuff. It's, that's a big undertaking, I think. Yeah, I like this. Okay, I think we're just going to do something like that. Okay, are you kind of getting this? Because I can't stick it down. All right, I'm going to pause, work on this one that will not cooperate, and glue all this stuff down, and then come back. Okay, we're done. And people that pay more attention than I do tell me, I thought I had nine. There's only eight here. So am I missing one? <laughs> I can't find it. I guess it was only eight. Anyway, so here they are. I did ink all the edges, and actually my really pathetic dauber worked pretty well. And I, I inked the back, too. But there's that. And I won't make a comment about the song. I was thinking of being really evil and putting that as my intro music, but I won't do that to you people. This one, I did add a word. one I added seam binding and uh, another leaf cluster up there. Oh, here's the one I couldn't do before. Actually it turned out pretty cute for not being able to find anything before. This one. Uh, I added a postage stamp to this. I just thought it needed something. And now that has nothing to do with flowers or anything, but I like the color as you may guess. All right, well here's eight seed packet collage envelope things for journals. I thought there were nine, but there's eight. And if there are nine and one is missing, I'll find it. <laughs> so there you are. Let's get this out of the picture. All right, thanks for joining me and have a really nice day out there.